All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushar, Bashim, and that's the true names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and Allah, and Kadash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father, and Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists. Bahashim means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means he is the Savior. He is the Deliverer. Bahashim in the name. Raka Kodash is the Holy Spirit. We want to give a double honors to our apostles and bishops and elders of Great Millstone who are rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to you, Akim, to the Bayaf Dawada, that's the house of David, the uh, the elect that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akim Wal Athwats. Peace and blessings to brothers and sisters that may be tuning in, studying, and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Hashem Shai. We're two brothers from the GMS Boston camp, back with a quick lesson through the spirit, and we pray everything is edifying. You know, hey man, we just finished watching that movie of uh, Civil War. You know, and uh, it shows you that that uh, we're one step closer of chaos coming to uh, Babylon the Great, aka America. We know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai that the Lord said he was going to pour out his spirit amongst all flesh. So we know that these uh, uh, story writers, directors, film actors or whatever, mainly the, you know, the, the, the directors and uh, screenwriters are, are having inspiration or draw inspiration from the scriptures, you know, and ultimately it's prophecy, man. You know, lately what they've been pushing through the, uh, Hollywood is apocalyptic or end time uh, type movies, man. Whether it's through uh, Storm and Tempest or what they call natural disasters or Mother Nature's mm -hmm. or what they, uh, you know, wars, civil unrest, chaos, martial law, you know. So this is all uh, drawn out from the scriptures. And ultimately, it started from his servants, the prophets, uh, uh, speaking these words, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai. The Lord left his apostles last. You know, to give you warning. And our job, our duty is to, to warn the house of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that our Lord and Savior is about to come and bring judgment, man. And when that judgment comes, it consists of death, the sword, uh, Esau, Edom being uh, uh, removed out of power, you know, famines, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places, fearful sights in the heavens or in the uh, suns and the moon. You know, even chariots being uh, revealed. You know, the MOTB, which is the uh, the RFID microchip. And ultimately, the thermonuclear missiles shot from one end to the earth, uh, and mainly to destroy Babylon the Great. You know, so we're here to give you warning that, hey, these prophecies are, are going to come into fruition. You know, and we have articles because the Lord said, uh, give them warning from me. Scripture says, measure thou the time diligently in itself. You know, so... As a as a man of the, of, of the Lord, we have to push the words of prophecy to give warning, you know, because the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, man. So we're here to give you warning about the bad times that's coming on earth, on the through the four corners of the earth, but mainly here in Babylon the Great. Want to say something, bro? No, uh, I'm gonna read this since you said that. Come on. Uh, to back you up. This is in, uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. Come. On. It reads. It says, "The prophets that have been before me." And before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Okay? So yeah, so this is the duty of, of the prophets, man. It's go on the highways and byways is to declare these matters, you know, and give the warning until you go, until this word is pushed out through the four corners of the earth. Then that's when the Lord is going to start visiting this place, man. And that's what we're seeing. It, um, it's happening in today. You know what I'm saying? Like, the reason why these wars, because the Lord left these tokens back then, 2,000 years ago, when he was on the scene to his disciples, on, to his apostles, let them know when it's going to be the end of the world mm -hmm. and, and the signs of his coming. Yep. So with that being said is, us going watching this movie, it shows you that this is this is all biblical proportion of things to come. That we're not ignorant of Satan's devices and we're not, and we're, and we're not moved by this place and we don't have no foundation and no... No, no, no promise in, in this kingdom that this kingdom was set up to be destroyed so when the Lord arrives he can establish his kingdom you know have his order have his government you know which is the which which by default makes us 
it makes it our kingdom, the Israelite, because the Lord is our power and we're his people. That's right. But we're, we're, we're letting you know that Babylon's going to be thrown down. And be prior to them, prior to this place being annihilated with the ICBM missiles, you know, the Lord is going to wreak havoc, man. Mm -hmm. and, and, and scripture did say that when you read in Zechariah 13 to 8, that two thirds of his people ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to make it out of Egypt. And America is that modern day Egypt, Sodom and Gomorrah and Babylon. So two thirds of the Lord's people gonna cut off and die. is going to cut off and die, man. And scripture say we're like the sand of the sea, you know, that the Lord only left a remnant behind. So that's going to be a lot of blood, uh, bloodshed and just death and destruction to look forward to. You know, the famine, earthquake like the brother was getting into. Those all scourges for what? To men for the for their wickedness. That's right. But we, we got to prepare our mind to endure all these things. Yeah. You know, we, we got to prepare our mind to, to see dead bodies laying on lawns. Mm -hmm. we, 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 so all this is like a, it's prepping us. It's, it, 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 it is boosting our faith to deal with the. With the horrendous times, as the scripture would say, Jacob's trouble, mm -hmm. uh, the time of uh, 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 the hour of temptation, or time of trouble like never before. And this is what's happening. And when you go watch that movie, mm -hmm. that's what you get out of it, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah like you mentioned, man, there was a lot of uh, great wrath, chaos, uh, fighting, obviously, wars, death, dead bodies. And, and, and again, only the scriptures are... are, are are giving you information about these things or writing about these things. And like the brother said, you got to be prepared, man. And the only way you can be prepared is through studying, through uh, praying and reading. You know, blessed is he that reader, mm -hmm. you know, because all hell going to break loose. But only these scriptures are going to keep you uh, stable, as it says in Isaiah 33 and uh, 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, you know, and the strength of salvation is the Lord's treasure. You know, and what times is it talking about? The, the brother mentioned Jeremiah, uh, Jacob's trouble, when all hell breaks loose, man, when there's nothing but chaos and death and evil on the streets, man. But again, we have to know because the Lord left these signs and wonders, you know, real quick, as you quoted it, uh, Luke 21 and 7. And they asked him saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be these and what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? And he said, take heed that ye be not deceived. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Yahweh Shai, or I am anointed. And the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass. But the end is not by and by. Then he, then he said unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs uh, there shall there be from heaven. Hey, so, you know, like, these are indicators, these are clues, these are signs that the Lord uh, left mainly his disciples in that time, but we, we apply it to what we know to, to, to for now, because things that were written before time were written for our learning. So we know that before the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and the ending of the world, which is Esau, Edom's rulership, his heaven, you know, uh, there's going to be commotions, there's going to be wars, there's going to be nation against nation, earthquakes in diverse places, famines and pestilence, and fearful sights and great signs from heaven. And that's all been happening uh, in these latter days, man. It's been intensifying. So this is how we measure the time. These are clues, so we got to... Uh, be occupied in prophecy, man. Right. Constantly watching. So, therefore, the watchman could blow the trumpet and, and warn the people that the sword is coming. That's right. And that sword is through, is, is um, ordained, excuse me, from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shad, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you're going, I just because you were saying that, I'm looking to the word commotion, it says mm -hmm. the state of, of confused. Mm. The state of, of confused and, and noisy, That's disturbance. Right. So, I was just, so you gotta ask yourself, a lot of people are in a state of confusion. Hence, this is this place called Babylon, Babal, confusion. Because here, where the scripture says, there's a time and a place and a season under heaven, right? So there's a, there's a time for peace uh, and a time for war. There's a time for love and there's a time for hate. Right now, we're not in the time of love. We're not in the time of peace. Mm -hmm. Scripture says, y'all, Shai told us this, man. He was like, yo, think not, I'm here to bring peace on the earth. Rather a sword, man. That's right. Lord, Yahweh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, 
whom the world was uh, ignorantly called uh, um, Jesus Christ, he, which is he's a, he's a so-called black man. He's coming back to wreak havoc, man. That's right. He made his sacrifice the first time, but the second time he said, "I'm not going to meet thee as a man." So prior to this destruction, everything coming to place, all these all, all these plagues has to has to has to draw an eye onto mm. this, on, onto this onto this place called Babylon, hey. and the people don't know what's going on. This no. is why the prophet has to come out here. And give you the word, but you got it. No, because because you said that it says all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, as wow. according to uh, Matthew twenty fourth. That was similar, you know. So these things have to be fulfilled, man. Right. But the end is not yet. So what manner of person that you got to be to be now in all holy conversations, man, and taking heed to the warning, right. you know? Again, our job and our duty. The brother brought it out in Jeremiah, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. a job of a prophet. Is to uh, to prophesy against many great kingdoms, nations of mm -hmm. war and of evil. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got it. Want to read it again? Yeah, 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 yeah read yeah. it again, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And it's Jeremiah twenty-eight and eight. And the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries mm -hmm. and against great kingdoms of war, of evil, and of pestilence. Yeah, see, so there's nothing new under the sun, man. You know. Mm -hmm. So we prophesying against great countries, man, and mainly the great country here on this side is Babylon the Great, aka America, man. Mm -hmm. They call it the Great, um, what, um, America the Great, you yeah, know? America the Great, and yeah. the Bible known that great city, that great Babylon, city. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, against great kingdoms of war, and mm -hmm. that's what's happened. I was one of the indicators, a sign that the Lord said wars and commotions, mm -hmm. you know, nation shall rise against nation, you know, mm -hmm. kingdom against kingdom, of evil and of pestilence. But the Lord ain't gonna bring good times, or uh, uh, love, peace, and happiness, and when when all these signs uh, come to pass, you know, pestilence, you know, there's nothing but articles uh, talk. There's a bunch of articles talking about uh, upcoming um, uh, 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 disease. I think it's disease X that's supposed to be 20 times more deadlier than what we uh, had experienced in, uh, in Crown Crown 19. Mm -hmm. You know, talking about bird flu. Talking about all different type of uh, diseases in the in the farming or in, in the cattle, yeah. and then they're, mm -hmm. they're saying that That's you know culture. that that most of the, the the diseases can be from the cattle from the food. Now it's gonna be spread to humans. Mm -hmm. Hey man, so these uh, uh, elites or these people in high places are preparing for a great pestilence as well. Perilous times. Perilous man. times. The Lord said, "Many matter of fact, I'll get it for yeah. you, bro." Mm -hmm. Hey, but that just shows you that we have to be on our watchtower, blowing the trumpet, and we have to blow the right um, sound of trumpet. Yeah. It's, a, it's these are trumpets, war drums, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. trumpets of, of of beware of evil times coming. But uh, yeah. I'll get it real quick. Second yeah. Ezra's eight and fifty for you, brother. Yeah. Uh, second uh, Ezra's eight and fifty. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. Yeah, they walk in great pride. That's what the Lord said. Woe to, to the world and them that dwell therein. Because these people ain't looking for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Ain't looking for our Lord's returning. His, his second return. Like the scripture say, for us to haste in, in the coming of the day of our Lord, man. They're not looking for uh, America to be destroyed. Rather, they want to uphold this, this wicked kingdom. Yeah. That's why the Lord said that the eyes of the Lord is upon that sinful kingdom, man. Yeah. People don't think there's nothing wrong with America, man, mm. and, the, and its foundation, and, 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 and the and the paperwork, and, 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 and the and the and the, uh, and the files that come along with this place. Yeah. It's all established on wicked, on 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 uh, evil, on, on on another another nation uh, and, and tongues. Uh, a blood, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rob, still and, and kill, man. Yeah. It's all what the thief does. So by you by by you believing in that and wanting this place to thrive, the Lord has to show you something. This is why we, 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 we're seeing signs of when the empire is falling, man. Mm -hmm. When when the economy, the infrastructure, the the morale, the morality of the people, it always it, it's all it, it's all declining, man. Been brought low. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's why Scripture said, um, what was that in uh, Isaiah when he says, uh, for and so, um, thou no longer tender and delicate. Come sit on on the dust or, or it, uh, Isaiah 47, 47 right? 47, yeah, one. But in other words, that's what the Lord's saying, man. Yep. This place ain't prestige no more, man. This place is, ain't that golden city, mm -hmm. and, you know, in the street paved with gold, where everyone wants to flock to it. Rather, it, 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 in the beginning, that's where it was. People was flocking over here. Yeah. But now in a lot of days, it says that what? People was going to flee, man. Yeah. And they was all going to go into their own country and, and, and into their own people and, and whatnot, man. Yeah. To show you that this something is going down. 
Yeah. This is why the scriptures say his light has risen upon us, man. We're able to see it, but the, the rest of the people oh, is in God. gross darkness. Mm -hmm. Here is Russia setting threats. Iran is setting threats. We hear more rumors of wars. We hear more reports of wars. And people still don't have a, a blues clues what the hell is going on. That's right. Because you know mm -hmm. why? They have a they have a, a false sediment that's been taught from mainly here in the Western philosophy. Or, yeah, here in America, that God blessed them. That things is going to be all right. You know, they, they've been fed a narrative, a false narrative, that, you know, the American military is the most dominant and powerful mm. army. And and they don't realize that these other nations now, and mainly their armies, mainly in the East, have sent a, a, a evil rapport, or they, they don't look at America with such honor. They look at them with much vigor, or with mm. evil Disgust. and hatred and disgustness. And mm. they're ready to, 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 to bring her down, man. And that's that's mainly what we're here to give you warning about, man. Because uh, we read, you know, in uh, Luke twenty-one, and we quoted Matthew twenty-four. These signs and wonders, a major sign and a major prophecy, is World War Three, man. You yeah. know, and what's been happening happening uh, just this past and just this weekend, yesterday, man. A lot of uh, tension and wars and commotions took took place in the East, and it's going to affect. What's going to happen throughout the whole world, but mainly it's going to affect what's happening here in Babylon the Great. So um, real quick, I got from endtimeheadlines.org. The headline reads, the world stands on the brink of all out war. See, so these yeah. are commotions, skirmishes. These are warnings ultimately through their headlines, through their journalists. Shit, right. So we as we uh, measured the time diligently as the, the Lord uh, told Ezra to do and his uh, mainly the prophets are going to do the same thing. This is how we measure the time diligently. We see what's going on in these news articles, what's happening around the world. And we filter them through the prophecies and the scriptures, man. Right. You know, right. and we know that this upcoming war is going to be uh, a war fought with missiles, man. Right. And it's going to be the war to end all war because it's inevitable. It's coming quickly, as the scripture says. Yeah, you, yeah. you got, got some real quick because oh, you said that's the spirit. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the spirit. Uh, uh, well, Revelations. Yep, yeah, yeah, 11 and 14. Yep. It says the second war was passed, mm -hmm. and behold, the third war will come quickly. See, and this is prophecy, man. This mm -hmm. is a book. This was written uh, uh, or spoken over, what, 2,000 years ago. See? And this Revelations is, 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 is the last chapter, right, of the, of the Bible. Revealing, it, It's right? revealing. <laughs> and you know, revealing end times, man. You know, but it says the second war was past. That war was de uh, wars, destruction. But behold, the third war coming quickly. It says, look, behold, look, the third war is coming quickly. You know, the last time there was a World War, well, the last time World War Two was uh, roughly eighty plus years ago, man. So that's a short span, right? You know, right. it's coming quickly, man. You guys, you, you guys want to bring out something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just to show you yep. that that even when you are shy, sends the servant to John, yep. to, uh, you know, to, to, uh, to let him know the things to come, that that was part of it. Because later on in the chapters you read, it tells you that the third world will come quickly. But this is uh, Revelations 1 and 1. Yep. It says, the, the revelation of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, which Yahweh gave unto him to show unto his servants mm. things which must surely which must surely come to pass. That's right. He gave to his servants. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Things which must surely come to pass. It's not. It's not a matter of if. It's a matter of time. Uh, Lo, it will. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> Lo, when it do come, then yeah. you should know, right? Yep. Huh. But um, it says, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of Yahweh and of the testimony of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. And of all the things that he saw, yo, oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. keep going, keep going. Uh -huh. hold on, hold on. It says, "Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand." Yeah, what time? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The end time. What, what time? The time that our Lord Yahushua is going to arrive, man, to deliver his people from from bondage, man. Where scriptures say we, it, it ain't going to be no longer said. That he delivers out of the land of Egypt back then during mm -hmm. the time of Moses, man, by the hands of Moses. But this time it's gonna be it's gonna be a great, a marvelous uh, 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 deliverance 
that so that is going to be beyond people imagining. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's but, going to surpass the story that was out in Egypt, man. That's right. And this is going to be what from the lands of the north, man. No, you know. You know what I, mean? yeah. I think that's what it says, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. In Jeremiah, right? Jeremiah 16 and 14. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, just real quick. We got it. Yeah. Oh, we can go back to that uh, verse <clears> three. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, we can go to the article after. Yeah, come. Revelations 10, uh, 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. See, and that kind of goes back to what the brother read in Revelations, the first chapter, man. You know, you know, because he, uh, the Lord, uh, signified these words into the angel to, 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 to show, um, John his servant, but it's mainly for all his servants in this time also, man. It said, blesses he that readeth the, the know the test, the bear the record of the word of the most high of the testimony of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And that's through the spirit of prophecy, man. Right. And that's why it says, blesses he that readeth and that hear these words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written for uh, for the time is at hand. And we're at the time now, man. Exactly. Because these yeah. things was an expound on, on the prophets back then. They seen the vision. They wrote it down. But but like the scriptures say, that the spirit of, of the prophets are subject to the prophet. Yeah. Them come in and, 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 they, and they lock. The Lord's going to reveal and put them in remembrance of, of, of these things, man. Because yeah. scripture said um, in Luke 10 24, for... I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, mm. and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. So when, when John the Revelator was seen in America getting obliterated by missiles and setting this place desolated on fire, he didn't know he didn't know where it was. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know what Babylon, where Babylon was located, America was located. But he described in the terms and uh, whatever he seen in the vision, you know. Uh, so so later on in in, in, in the latter days. While, while it we stand it, 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 it can be revealed, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but this, this is how the Lord works, man. That's why he says the Lord will do nothing but reveal it unto secrets, to uh, servants, servants of prophets, man. Yep, yep. You know, and this is why we can come out and boldly tell you these things because the Lord has made known his spirit and gave us inspiration to do so, man. And, you know, this is why we, 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 we're not in the time to play games, we're not in the time to, uh, to, to be. Coming out here to record videos talking about sport games and or, or, or how the weather and all these other bullshit. We're dealing strictly with prophecy. Scripture says be occupied in prophecy, man. Yeah, yeah. That we've been set up as watchmen to blow the horn, to, born, to blow the trumpet to give people the warning. Mm -hmm. And how would the people won't know if there's not a, a watchman set on, on the high tower? You know what I'm saying? So the point of us doing this lesson was was to give you warnings, to let you know that these topics of conversation of wars and these earthquakes like we just had the other day in the beginning of the year mm -hmm. in, in, in Japan, you know, what I'm, I'm, you know, in Japan, you know what I'm saying? All these things are not, it's not happening for no reason yep. uh, or by coincidence. This is all by the hands of Yahweh about Shema Shai. Scripture says you should have, um, it should be uproars of the people, man. Yep. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And that movie, Civil War, pretty much goes into to what's about to happen in the States, man. Yeah. When you're behind enemy lines, man, that this is about to be a civil war like it tells you. And second Ezra's 15, 15 chapter, chapter and yep. so forth and the 16 you know and, and so forth and so forth but this is this is we, this is what we got to get our mind towards man yeah, hey we're here to prepare you to warn you man and the only way that you could be delivered is through having faith in your Bashim Yahushai ultimately you got to repent man and right. seek the truth man you, you know, and that's like to land back what the brother was saying, man. We're not here to tell you a false divination, man, right. or tell you feel good stories or things is going to be all right or, or, or words of of love, peace and happiness or, or you know, what I'm saying that's not we're not in that time, man. We're telling you that well, all hell break loose. It's going to be deadly times, man. We ready. Many great misery shall be done to them in these latter times. So, hey, man, we, we don't care if, 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 you know, we're not saying the things that you like. Then maybe it's not being meant for you. You know, right. we, this this warning is not supposed to be feel good. It's supposed to be straight to the point, man. Right, get you your know? shit in order, man. Yeah, to spark your fear. There you go. You know what I'm saying? To get your ass in order. To know, knowing that the only way we can be delivered is through the Lord, man. Come on, come on. You know what I'm saying? Because you can ask yourself, especially in that movie, uh, um, but also what the scripture says that, yo, yo, ask ye now and see whether a man do travail yeah, with a child. Right. Mm -hmm. Wherefore I do see every man with his hands on his loins. Oh God, Jeremiah, right? Yeah, yeah. as yeah. a woman in travail, That's you know. Right. 
and faces turn to pale. And so you got to ask yourself, what's going to make a man, uh, 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 What's gonna make a man be so much fear and have him scared of death to a point where where he's on a, in a fetal position, or mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, to, to be in, in his in a, in a to be in a comfort state, vulnerable. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? It, it, because it, because of, of something that's taking place, man. Yeah, that's making him uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So now you got to ask yourself. Now when you read about scriptures talking about men is gonna be evading one another. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're talking yeah, we about. We get into it. We get into yeah, it, man. Friends gonna, it's going to fight like. Uh, um, it's going gonna, gonna to fight like enemies. Woe into the world. And, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, man. So, so one got to consider. Like, hey, what, what is the scripture saying? What, 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 what's happening? Why is is it only written. Um, um, when the scripture is written, it says uh, that behold, a, a hand was sent unto me, and a roll of book was therein, and it spread before me. It was written within and without. It was written during lamentation, mourning, and woe. What's yeah. going on? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, see, these are, these are signs and wonders, man. These are clues. These are hints, man. Indicators, man. So, hey, we're going we're gonna to go into, you know, 2nd Ezra 15. Because it's kind of going on how the movie, Civil, Civil War, you know, we ain't going to talk too much about the movie. But, hey. Just best believe that it's inspired from the scriptures, man. Right. You know, uh, Second Ezra 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw off nigh. And one people shall sta stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Hey, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their, their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Hey, and that's going back to what you read in Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, mm -hmm. man. It's Jacob's mm -hmm. trouble. You're going to actually have men travailing, uh, uh, holding their loins and travailing like a woman with child, man, going through suffering and, 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 and pain. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a, a heavy judgment, man. Uh, verse 19 A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor But shall destroy their houses for the sword And spoil their goods Because of lack of bread And for great tribulation Hey that was one of hey, Salaki, bro, one, That was one of the signs that we read man uh, Famines uh, uh, Evils Bad times So this is showing you what's going to be the, uh, the mindset of those that don't have Faith in the Yahabashim al Shar that it's going to be total chaos, and they're not going to have that stability because they're not knowing that it's going to hit them off guard. So they're going to try to, 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 to again go against uh people in high places. Mm -hmm. It says seditions, they're going to be invading one another because of lack of bread, destruction on earth, and great tribulation, man. Mm -hmm. But it didn't say that, you know, the men of the Lord, his servants are going to be doing these things. Because ultimately, his servants are going to trust in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man. That's right. You know? Yes, we say he shall be saved out of it, right? Yeah. You know, who's the he? We know it's the elect, man. Because the Lord's going to help him. But the point being is, hey, man, all that shucking and jiving, all that uh, playing and bullshitting, man, partying and bullshitting is over with, man. Yeah. We, we, the mirth is gone out of the land, man. Pretty soon, this place is going. It's going to be. It's going. It's going. Uh, Esau going to hit it with this, this new uh, uh, pestilence, man. It's going to mm -hmm. be another lockdown. You know what I'm uh, saying? We know that before this war can even take place, that the, what that the, the, the mark of the beast, the MOTB, has to be established, man. Uh, that so Karagma, we're not yeah. caught up in all this war talk and crazy. Yeah, we, we, we're aware of these things, but we know that prophecy has to take place. This is why scriptures. Said uh, uh, that the scripture said that the testimony of Shah is a spirit of prophecy, like the brother brought out earlier. That we're supposed to use that to measure the time that we're in because there's no set times. Yeah, we, scripture said that uh, 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 that the Lord's word won't go out void, that everything is going to be fulfilled. And when the Lord says he's going to cut cut this thing short for the elect's sake, mm -hmm. best believe he's talking about he's going to speed the things up. Yeah, you know, that's why you see days going out quicker and faster. Here it is, we'll, we'll, we'll be halfway through the. Through, through the year, man, and you see a lot of things transpiring. It's because the Lord is is doing that, man. Yeah, you know, He's showing um uh, He's showing the time for the elect's sake. I got that for you. It, it uh, Matthew twenty four and twenty one. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the <clears throat> beginning of the world till this time. No, nor ever shall be. 
and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. You see, for the elect's sake, it should be shortened. So you can think about any of the empires and the kingdoms prior to this one, uh, uh, the, the Babylonians, the, the, the Media Persian, the Greeks, the Romans, the time he's at Mansada, even through the time, you know, he's brought over here on cargo slave ships, mm -hmm. you know, Scripture say it's, it's going to surpass that, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's about to come on the earth is going to blow it out the water. You know, it's going to be a hundred times worse, man. It's going, it's going, it's going to be, um, it's going, this going to be Masada 2.0, man, on steroids. You know what I'm saying? If you thought people was eating, was turning into cannibal, cannibal, uh, cannibalism, and, 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 and eating their babies, starting their children. Like eating leather and shoes, yo. Mm. Guess what? It's mm. coming all back again, man. Yeah. Cannibalism, yeah, yeah, all that, man. Yeah. Yeah. The movie you see in the road and the Book of Eli, all this is all inspired by the scriptures, man. Yeah, this is why the movie is 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 is, is, is produced so well because they get this, they get um, the uh, the instruction or, or the understanding of the scriptures vividly. You know? you know I mean? Yeah, they get man. The vivid uh, description from the scriptures, and then you know they add their little. Season and they right. like, <laughs> plot and twist to it, you know. But yeah. hey, man, those with that's why these movies are are good for a spiritual man to see and, and take it with a spiritual eye, man. Yeah. You know, and they showing you, man, and they making the scriptures even more true, man. Yeah, you bring, know? It, bring it to life, yo, man. Yeah. You know, one thing we can say, you know, we're not gonna spoil uh, 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 the movie. You know, some others might have gone into it and said what they said, but um, when you watch it. You, you, you'll you see Like the brother said Second as is 15 Playing You mm -hmm. know exactly As it's written out man Yeah And, 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 and it gives you a glimpse Of what to expect In that day When we are When we are out When we ain't going out there To teach When the Lord removes His prophet uh, uh, From the corners Yeah To a point where you don't You can't see him You have no access to them When there's the famine The word Now it's time to apply What you have learned Then you're gonna realize Like oh shit you know that this this was all in the making. Like these movies wasn't all done for nothing. Until you understand, Esau has to give you warning. Yeah. So yep. when someone had the calm of the world uh, uh, against him, man. So he puts his subliminal movies and video games and cartoons, and uh, you know what I'm saying all this. But our people, you know, are so blinded. They saw in that dark grossness that go over their head. Yeah. But but you you don't need for us to tell you these things because one, it's written in the scriptures. But we're still doing our job. It tells you in the scriptures also, you can connect the dots by looking at these current events and articles and in and, and these uh, uh these different outlets, social media outlets that's making these report. Yep. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Well, you got it, huh? Hey, just to land back, uh, Ezekiel 33 and verse 2. Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if he see... If when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he bloweth the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood should be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, his blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman seeth the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people not be uh, and be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy watchman's hand. You know? Hey, so that just shows you, hey, the Lord set forth his servants, the, the prophets, to be a watchman. And we have a job or a duty. We're not supposed to let our light shine, uh, 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 hit it under a bushel, you know, right. or tuck it in a napkin. We're supposed to let the light shine before men, you know. To warn the people that the sword's coming, man. Right. We're not again. We're not here to tell you about um, prosperity and love, man. We're telling you that the Lord is furious. Mainly, He has a bullseye of, of Babylon the Great, and He's about to bring plagues upon the earth, man. The sword, death, famine, and destruction, yeah, man. Bro. And we're here to blow that trumpet. So it behooves you to take heed, man, because we want to wipe your blood off our hands. But if we have this knowledge and don't do it, hey, you will still die in your iniquity. But your blood will be on our hands. See, so that's the consequences, man. And we just want to be found blameless. Well, and this is why we give you that warning, man, to let you know that the Lord is didn't bless America. He's about to destroy America, man. <laughs> you know? Right, right. And, and, yeah, man. No, no, you got it, bro. 
Yeah. Like the scripture says, if you knew better, you do better, man. Yeah. And the Lord said he gave us a grace period, man, to repent yeah. and get ourselves together. Matter of fact, that solar eclipse that we had. Yeah. Uh, Monday. It, yeah. Right. And, and it said it went through, was it Narn City in Nineveh? And, and oh, yeah. That all has uh, towns in Nineveh, right? Yeah, and it's called states. Nineveh. Yeah. You know? And you think about what happened in, in during the time of Jonah. What do, you, what, do you, what do you get out of it? Yeah. It's not really for America, Esau, Adam, these other nations. That message was for us, mm. you know, to repent. Yeah, to see the of, signs, signs in the heavens. That's also know? another indicator. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's not just only with the chariot, but that was a sign of us to, to, to repent, man. Yeah. No, 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 no. You got it. Not because you brought that up. Salaki to cut you off, nah, bro. Nah, nah. But seven years ago, there was an eclipse that went through uh, America as well. But it's, it went from... Um, uh, uh, let's say Florida going across like to the west coast mm -hmm. and this one came from, let's say from um, like Mexico going across the east coast so it kind of formed the X mm -hmm. so seven years you know what I'm saying of the part from 2017 was one way okay. and then the eclipse this year could kind of looks like the Lord saying he's Xing out America man well, yeah. you know hey X marks the spot yeah and, and, and this is when you, I know we quoted earlier uh, in Jeremiah 16 and 14, the Lord say, it's going no longer said that you deliver us out of the land of Egypt. Yeah, I can get that for you if you want it, bro. Come, come. Um, come on, uh, Jeremiah 16 and 14, Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. But the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, and from all the lands whither he had driven them, and will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Yeah. So, so in other words, this is going to surpass the works of Egypt. Even that work was was amazing, bro. Yeah, it's still you know? talked about this day. To this day, man. So, so imagine, you know. Over more than 2,000 years, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we're still talking about it today, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and but that shows you how much more then that in this go around, Scripture said that we're going to be delivered in such style. Lord's willing, we are part of that number. You know what I'm saying? The scripture tells you in wisdom saw, man, that they, they were so strange at the amazing at the amazing the amazing of the uh of the something wrong along like excuse me. Say amazing the, of uh, they, uh, the strangeness of salvation. The strangeness that they found. Yeah, yeah, so salvation, salvation bro. The water, brother. Mm -hmm. and, and um so so much so if we so imagine that. We walked through a dry land because the Lord split open the sea, man. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> imagine seeing somebody getting Beamed up, you know, beam me up, Scotty. Uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Get taken up, uh, 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 as the, they would like to say, being uh, uh, abducted, abducted, yeah, 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 bro, yeah. water, brother. Yeah. Hey, because uh, you mentioned Egypt, the, the, you know, in the past, that was the first, the Lord's uh, power of, of that salvation, that was really the first aquarium for the uh, Israelites. Cause they walk through and see everything in the sea. Oh, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? They walk, so you, they walk through the sea. They had to see all the, uh, you know, the the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the the creatures of the sea, man. That's like an aquarium. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But they're being delivered. They going through all different type of emotions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's great observation. Hey, brother. Yeah, but now yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. be delivered. You know, the elect gonna be delivered in the air, beamed up, man. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, and, and we gonna, and, and, and there's a reason why the Lord's doing that, because He said in Revelations 20 that. That the first time, the, the first death was by water, by flood. Yeah. But the second death is going to be by, by fire. fire. Yeah. You know, that lake of fire, man. And we know how that 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 that, that fire is coming through. The, 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 uh, uh, so it tells you back then. It says the the warriors. Uh, will, I got you, brother. Yeah, I got yeah, you, yeah. Isaiah. Water, not so good. Isaiah five and nine, or no, Isaiah nine and five. Con, Isaiah 9 and 5, for every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and a fuel of fire. Right, which shows you, this ain't, right, that's one point right there that shows you that there's no such thing as hell. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It says we're burning fuel of fire because the Lord has created the smith that blowed the coal, man, to bring forth what? The destroyer, the, the waster. waster huh? the you know huh? what I'm saying? Right, man. So, and we see what these nations are stockpiling on what? And who's leading the charge and who's dishing them out and so forth and equipping them because they know that this uh, uh, this battle or this warfare is going to be done on earth, man. You know what I'm saying? This, 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 uh, uh, um, that, that they, 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 they know like 
judgment is here on earth, man. Hell is here on earth, man. Like, yeah. It's more of a condition in the grave, but they know that everything is going to be taking uh, place on, on here, man. Like the scriptures say judgment. He looked at judgment was under the, was under the sun, man. Yeah. And what's under the sun is earth, man. This is where you, you, uh, scriptures say you die, your spirit goes up to the spirit world. You know what I'm saying? You receive your judgment, then what? Then the Lord sends that spirit back down yeah. to, to play out that judgment, man. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But just quick, just a quick note on that. But getting back, is just but this warfare is gonna be by thermal nuclear warfare, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 the Lord said it, and guess what? That it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. The scripture said in one day or in one hour that judgment come. Yep. Babylon's gonna fall, man. That's right. So it's just showing you like yo. This is the things we're looking forward to alongside of our Lord coming back to deliver his people, man. Because mm -hmm. we do need deliverance. Hence, Yahweh Shai, he is the deliverer, man. Yeah, if I may add, mm -hmm. the reason why he's bringing plagues upon the earth is because ultimately the, the apple of his eyes, the children of Israel, are yet in this day in captivity. So just like in Egypt in the past, you know, uh, the Israelites were held captive under Pharaoh. Yep. And, and and just like now in this Egypt, which is bondage here in America, you know, mainly the majority of the Israelites are in uh, are Babylon the Great, but they are scattered. But we read that in Jeremiah that he was going to deliver those in the from the hands of the north and wherever he driven them, right. you know, they scattered the elect. So the reason why he has to bring destruction mainly on Babylon and and throughout the whole earth and mainly Esau Edom. Because they're the wicked that the that the Lord set up is because they have yet his children, his in his in possession and yet in captivity, man. And that's what the that's what the 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 old Egypt and then this new Egypt is about, man. Right, the, right. the captivity is gonna be for, uh, no more for for the children of Israel, man. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's good to say. <laughs> they, uh, we read uh, uh, Lamentations, right? Uh, uh, you get that, but um, you read it. Um, Jeremiah, where he talks about uh, that the children of Israel and the children of Judah were um, oppressed were together. together. Oh, that's 50, they took right? them captive and held them fast, refused to let them go. So this is why the Lord has to come back. They refused to let us go. Yeah. And the Lord has raised up Esau, Edom, the elites, the, you know, the Khazarians and, and the, these, these Jewish people <laughs> that, uh, um, that, that they, they refused to let us go and also uh, uh, scripture talks about in Psalms 49 and 11 that they think that and the inward thought that the house going to continue forever. Uh -huh. They don't think that they're ever going to be uh, taken out of rulership. They don't never think they could be brought down. Yeah. Like scripture told me, oh, die, that his heart had deceived him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He said, who shall bring me down? That's the sentiment that he has, man. And he thinks that when the Lord Yahushua comes back, that he's going to defeat the Lord, man. You know, that's how much the devil he is, man. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, but this is why we need salvation. But you can grab whatever you grab, but... No, nah, I was going to say, just mm -hmm. in that movie, it just shows you uh, civil unrest, man. Yeah. Uh, chaos is an indicator of 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 America being brought down, man. Or yeah. Esau, Edom's rulership. East, uh, Babylon is considered the hammer of the whole earth, yeah. you know, through its military and power and its might. But now it's imploding within itself, man. And that movie shows that man that it's 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 chaos that's happening in America. So this and and in the movie it just shows you before ultimately the you know the judgment of Yahweh Hashem Shai, man is gonna what we read Second Ezra the fifteenth chapter the steps that are leading into the end but the end is not yet it's the beginning <laughs> right, of right. sorrows you know yeah. chaos destruction and that's what we're here to give you one about you know mm -hmm. hey, man because we need salvation. You, you, you got any more on the article? I know we kind of... Yeah, we kind of... Yeah, we, 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 we good, we good. Uh, uh, uh. But this is why we need salvation, man. Because, uh, like the Lord said, man, when he comes back, who shall he find shall, shall he find faith on earth? Mm -hmm. Because it's going to be all hell breaking loose. Like like Ezra said, man, woe was me, woe was me. Who's going to deliver me in those days, man? The beginning of wars and, and famine and, and death and destruction as he goes on. When the evils uh, 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 start to multiply and come upon the earth, like I got you, brother. Yeah. What, 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 what are you gonna do? Yeah. Who's gonna be your protector? Scriptures say in Revelations and three to ten that uh, um that because you kept the word of his patient, he's gonna keep you from that hour of temptation. But don't your only covering, you know, is within the Lord. You know, yes, you right. 
No, nah, I just got that. I mean, for you, uh, Second Ezra sixteen and uh, seventeen. Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famines and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, and what shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Mm. Hey, man, that's right. There is is heavy, man. But I'll continue on. Mm -hmm. Behold, victual shall be so good cheap upon the earth, upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. And the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And, hey, and you, when I read this scripture, we're going to know hey, what we'll, scene. No, oh, no, no, no. Oh. We're going to know what scene from the movie. Oh, oh okay, okay. And verse 23. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, oh, and, yeah. there, and there oh, shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down, man. So, so there was man. one scene, you know. I, again, I don't want, yeah. I don't want to go into too detail so brothers can watch it. But it, you're gonna see, you know, dead bodies, you know, yeah. and and there's no place for them to really be buried, man. Yeah. Ain't gonna be no funeral, no service memorial, you know, no wake. <laughs> right. It's gonna be just straight destruction and death and chaos, man. You know what I mean, so, so point to show you, like, uh, shit that we're not, uh, uh, things that we're not familiar with, man. You know what I'm saying? Things that you don't see on your uh, on your everyday uh, uh, walk through yeah. the city and through through the state, you know. But everything that the scriptures say is going to happen. This America's about to be a third world war country, man. Yeah, Things a war that, zone. A war zone. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? Things you see over there in the Middle East and these places, it's going. It's coming here to Babylon, man. And our people are not ready for it. This is why most people was gone. Be victim to to, to Esau's uh, devices, man, in the, in, his, in the stage, and um, him give try uh, give you immunity for some type of food and shelter. You are gonna fall right into his trap, man. Yeah. And if you do take that mark, which he's gonna require of you, because he know for sure that you you know you're gonna be exterminated. Mm -hmm. exterminated. There's gonna be no hope once you got that device in you. Yeah. You know, and he's going he, he's gonna extend that to you, and then what, man? But if, if but if you don't know these things. How can you be prepared? How you be prepared? How can you be stable? Right. You know? How can you prevent these things? You can't. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That's why boohoo, this is why it's important we, uh, we do this show, even though it sounds redundant. Even though we sound like a broken record. Even if we read this last week and the week of last month, you know, two years, three years, five years. I've just been doing it 30 plus years, man. So you can only imagine. Uh -huh. But that's someone that's established in the faith, man. That's in the household of faith, man. That they believe in this thing wholeheartedly. It don't matter how how long it takes that they know that the Lord, the words of the Lord are faithful and true. Yeah, the scripture says that low it tarry, wait for it, it shall not tarry. Right. You know, it so it may seem come. it shall surely come. Yeah, it might seem like a long time, but guess what? Everything is speeding up. Right. So it's not really tearing and it will come, man. And hey man, we right. one step closer to it, man. Right. We one step closer to chaos, seditions, uh uh, uh great Confusion, death, insurrections, hey. miseries. Hey, man, we we on the brinks of it. Wars, yeah. famines, pestilence, and that's what we're here to give you warning. We're not prophets of peace or prophet of love. Right, right. You know, we 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 do use those attributes, love and, and, and peace. You know, as the scriptures say. But when we come to give warning, it's not of peace and of love, man. Right, you and, know? and the love and the peace is it, within. It's with, it, it's, it's with the house of Israel. Those that's doing the will of Yahweh by Shem El Shad, man. That's right. So Yahweh Shad had to make it known because people get real carnal and get real simple, man. Yeah. You know, they like to fit certain narratives to their likings. Yeah. But it's not like that, man. The Lord said, those that do the will of my father, it's the same as my mother, my brother, my sister, man. Right. So the love that we extend, the peace that we show is within the brotherhood. Those that's laboring with, with us. Those that's on the battlefield with us. Those who we extend love and peace to, that's who the Lord said turn the other cheek. Nah, nigga, that's out there selling crack and, and shooting up people and robbing people. Uh, it, we, we got nothing to do with them. But yeah, the, the only love for those those that don't that live that wicked lifestyle is for them to. We gotta. The only love that we can show is actually prophesying. 
right, and, and push the word. If the Lord has them that they want to repent, that's all up to the Lord, man. Yeah. But that shows love because we're, we're rebuking, right. you know, we're through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shah. But we can't control who gets delivered or not, you know what I mean? So, yeah. hey, we just throw the word out there, we cast the net, yeah. and the Lord picks and chooses who he brings in. Some get good fish, some bad fish, but the Lord knows. Everyone has a point in time. The Lord knows who to bring in, and the Lord knows who to cast back out after they came in. Come so it's, it's none of us. All we got to do is endure to the end, and, and scriptures say, mainly, you know, I believe I could be wrong, don't quote me, but either 2 Peter 1 and 10 or 1 Peter 1 and 10. Uh, excuse me. Be on holy conversations? No, um, 1 and 10, um, where it says, everything for us to do pretty much up to. to, to to make our call and our election sure, man. Oh, yeah, come on. Because there's no guarantee, man. Be diligent, man. Be diligent, man. Because you, you can be in here for 20 plus years, man. And all of a sudden, in the last moment, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you didn't build yourself up right. You end up getting caught up. I'm just creating a scenario, man. Saying you get caught up, man. You get you get brought into one of those FEMA camps, man. And, 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 you, and, and you, you don't want to lose count, faith, man. Yeah, man. You didn't count the cost like yo. Some you know. of us, we got to be put to death, man. And uh -huh. we don't have no assurance of who and, and, and what brothers are going through. But you always got to, you know what I'm saying, keep that in the back of your mind. And you do find yourself in that situation. Now you, you're the next person in, in the line to, 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 to be, you know, be beheaded. Uh -huh. and, and, but they gave you an ultimatum to, to either denounce uh, your, your faith, uh, what you believe. Uh, and, take their uh, take chip. Take your karagma, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Show, show your pledge of allegiance to them. And and you and you you out you know you out here you know uh, 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 how you say you got the, you you got the balance the scale you know what I'm saying you're balancing things out what should I do especially you just seen the man's head just roll off like mm -hmm. clean cut like right you don't want to be shaky man you want to yeah. trust as the scriptures say uh, um, uh, strive for the truth unto death and Yahweh shall shall give thee life mm -hmm. you know that's why you got to you know be uh, Occupied in prophecy, bless he that readeth, readeth, and ultimately have faith in the Lord, man. Yeah. You that what's gonna keep you stabled in them times, man. Time of death, a time of chaos, time of all destruction, man. And it's like a time like no other, you know. So right. we, we pray that we lean on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh in these right. days, man, these latter <clears throat> days, man. And that's important, you know. We and we we give you this warning, but we also through the spirit imply what we're talking to even for ourselves, man. Right, you know, right. So, we, we all gonna we we all gonna have tribulation, man. Yeah, we all gonna be tried, man. It's, it's scripture said we go uh, 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 we gonna be tried like gold in the fire. Yeah. Acceptable, man. But 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 with, with that being said, we gonna have tribulation. We gonna be tried. But the Lord said, what for us to be faithful unto death, man? Yeah, and okay, then He'll give you a crown of life, crown right? of life, man. That's right. So so that's that's the mindset and attitude we gotta have, man. Uh, if you find yourself being departed on um, going through these phases, just just take everything cheerfully, man. Because at the end, you're gonna win, man. Mm -hmm. It's already a win-win, man. The Lord already died, man. So if you're a part of the elect, you know what I'm saying you you've been covered, man. Because the elect has been chosen from the foundation of the earth before the foundation was laid, man. But just know that you've been covered, so it's a win-win because the Lord died for you and covered for for, for, for your sins, also. That he died for us to obtain that victory, man. That's right. Victory is through Yahweh Shai. It ain't through none of us, man. No matter how, how many work you do, man, videos and, and whatever, we not we have not obtained it by our own self, man. It's all through Yahweh All through spirit and power of the Lord. And this is this is the, the labor of love that we do, you know, because we understand what the Lord did for us, you know, and what he left behind for us and what for us to do in the meantime, between time before he arrived. That's why we do it to the fullest, man. Because the Lord's not gonna forget the things that we did, not and actually, He the said, of love. "Right." He actually said, "I'm gonna reward you." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we 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 we, we, can, we trust the Lord's word, man. But it's just more of understanding, you know, not a more of the the gifts, which that's that's a plus too, but more understanding like the Lord loves us so much, man, that He's willing to sacrifice Himself, man. Scripture say, hey, you know, ain't no great more greater love than the." Then, you know, he that laid down his life yeah, for his brothers or his, something. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? No greater love, yeah. For yeah. his friends, man. Yeah, for his friends, yeah. Shepherd that oh. lay his life down for the sheep, man. Yeah. Imagine yeah. a shepherd, you know, tending his sheep, leading them. You got a, a, a raven wolves jumping out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. or, 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 you know what I'm saying? Or, or something. And he's trying to attack you. And, and 
the sheep is defenseless. You know what I'm saying? It depends on the shepherd to guide it and defend it and prevent it from whatever is, you know, yeah. it befalls it. But just showing that the Lord did that for us, man. You know, going through the excruciating pain, man. Remember to the point where they dismember the Lord. So to the point where people couldn't recognize him, bro. And we're going to see that same figure that speaks about it in um in uh, Zechariah, the 12th chapter, why not? But, but all that for the sake of Israel, man. And we, yeah. and I hope that's the main message to understand that what the Lord did for us. If that ain't love, then I don't even know what it is. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? And he gave us this light so we can give you that warning, man. Yeah. That's, that's a, a token, a gift from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right. So this is why we can't take it for granted and we go out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to give you warning that, hey, ultimately, you know, all bad t bad times are coming, chaos, death. But if you lean on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you trust in him you and have faith in him. He's going to be a reward of them that diligently seek him, as the scripture said, man. Yeah. So I don't know if you got anything else. Nah, so nah. Yeah, with nah. that, man, we, yeah. we, we pray everything was edifying. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Kakwadash. Double honors again to our apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us his truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf, the Wadah, the House of David, the elect. And until next time, we want to say <clears throat> Shalom. Shalom.